All right, everybody. So we got new patch notes. I missed them on the 21st, saw them on the 22nd, went over a little bit on stream on the 22nd. No, yeah, it was the 22nd. It was just really early in the morning. I almost got lost in my days again. Anyways, Ice Gauntlet. I talked about this weapon, and it turns out I was a little bit on the right track when it comes to the skill trees. The skill trees being one primarily focusing on damage, and I was a little bit off of the control part. I thought the control part would mean the other one, but damage to control for one tree. Production and deploying an ice pylon. So the ice pylon actually does fight alongside the player. Improves their data, improves their power and effectiveness. So I think it's more of a buff or does it actually attack? I'm pretty sure you might be able to spec it to attack as well as buff. Of course, you got your legendary weapon class, class quest. You got some of it showing off right here. Scroll through some of these. See, this helmet, this chest piece looks interesting as well. Now, this right here. So does this actually have a block? Because it looks like he's holding his hands up to block something with the little force ice shield. I think that's a block. That is definitely a block. So that ice, uh, ice geyser, I don't know what you would call it. One of those spiked up, the ice spikes that shot up out of the ground. It's definitely not a click ability. Like a heavy click, because they only showed the one where you shoot, the the frost breath thing, and then the spike, including the pylon. So the spike is an ability. I was fairly certain that that was going to be ability. Now the breath attack, heavy attack, it's got to be, and the other one just a light attack. Looks like I was on the right track, so that's nice. Here's a breath attack again, I think. Just maybe upgraded? Faction control points. See, they're really, they're really cranking out the stuff, man. This is great to see. The faction control points are the points that you can control, and your faction will actually gain benefits. Like more XP, less travel cost, fast travel, and you can also have your points linked via... Like if you have two points connecting to each other, like on the map, you can have their storage transfer. But I'm assuming a fee, of course, but it's nice. As you can see, reduced travel cost, more XP, you got less taxes, more currency gain. And also for the faction who, or the clan who controls it, they get a special little bonus too. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's, oh, it's like little supplies, normal crafting supplies and stuff like that. So it's nice to see that they're actually going more onto PvP and not just PvE. Wish they give us a new, I was about to call this escalation. It's not escalation. They give us a new dungeon. So that's nice. I didn't really go too much into this one because I kind of want to keep this one more of a surprise because I didn't, same as the other one as well, the expeditions, because they're dungeons, they're the cut. I don't want to learn too much about them until the time comes. So of course I'll leave the, the link in the description so you guys can go check out if you want, but I'm not going to look too much into this, but it's nice to see that we now have an additional escalation, oh, I keep wanting to say escalation, es expedition to do as well, for dungeons, I'm just going to call them dungeons. It was nice. And we even got achievements. Nice to see because everybody likes to get rewarded for doing stuff, right? Maybe somebody, maybe out of everybody who's been on only, say, like 400 people who've gotten the achievement out of every single person who's got on. And there's a timestamp on the achievement so people can say they were first. There's always those achievement hunters that go for every single achievement. It's not going to be for everybody. Some people are kind of, eh, achievements. I like achievements. 
I like going around and collecting achievements. When you got nothing else to do, you know? It's just fun. Voiceover. That's always nice. More PvP missions. Now we're going to get missions that suit our factions. So like the mercenaries, factions, probably just going to go kill them. <laughs> I'm assuming the syndicate is going to be more of a server because they're more on the science side of things. I don't really know about the yellow one. I wasn't a fan of that faction. But that's nice. You get more rewards for playing it as well. High risk, high reward. So on and so forth. Ter territory control is kind of what I was talking about up there. Company bonuses. More XP and stuff like that. Reduce taxes. Reduce ta home taxes. It's nice progression. You now have progressions to unlock when you level up. Well, that's nice. Camps. Azeroth staff. And stuff like that. I always like seeing like thresholds, just, you know, just for something like to get the ball rolling. Not really to get the ball rolling. It's not the right thing. I guess something to work towards. Yeah, it's more something I like to work towards. Sorry, I was rereading something. Loot and gear. Now they added a whole lot of new perks to armor and where's where's the arrows and stuff hold up hold up hold up this where is it there was arrows now stack from 250 to 500 i don't remember where it was in here but you got the gear perks now it was around here somewhere i think it was in crafting oh yeah right here this is pretty big that's nice for all them archers out there. That's fantastic. But yeah, gear perks. There are now 150 different perks across all item types. That's a lot. But I also have cooldowns. Like some of them have internal cooldowns. I don't know if that's going to be shown. That would be pretty nice if it was shown like a small little UI thing on the bottom that just shows... When those passively activate but there's a lot i'll let you go through these guys on your own that's pretty much it for for me going over i don't want to go too much into it because i'm going to talk heavily about the combat changes that are coming and we all know how much i like the combat anyways crafting changes we already went to this a lot of good changes and there are now which what 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 is it it's just called dungeons i was gonna call them escalations again but just dungeons 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 have exclusive resources in them for crafting i guess dungeon exclusive weapons now there's two so there's gonna be two bosses drop their own and the mobs drop their own so it's gonna be something to farm and they do range in power so you can have one like at the very bottom to the one like the very top the power scaling will change also you have to, for jewelry and stuff earrings you have to craft hooks which is saying right here if i'm mistaken i'm not sure no it's right here i was down one so necklaces you gotta craft chains then the amulet, or then the gem, earrings, hook, then the gem, and, and for the ring, you gotta make the band, and then the gem. So there's now two parts for crafting jewelry, which makes sense. Uh, the taunt on weapon, the, there's, I'm getting ahead of myself. When you put stuff on the weapons, that do, okay, whatever. I'm getting ahead of myself, because I wanted to say, this one range users you will can now shoot through your teammates that is fantastic i know how much people hated having to walk around all the melee users like if you're fighting a small mob you have a big group of people and somebody's trying to use a bow 
They can't hit. No, you can. Just don't miss the enemy. <laughs> it's going to be still a little hard to see the enemy, but you can now shoot through your teammates, so that's nice. Enemy AI improvements is always nice. It's still ongoing. New mechanics, large enemy stagger. So you can now stagger large enemies with heavy attacks and abilities just to drain their stamina like, you know, breaking guards and stuff. Now, this right here gave me immediate... Conan Exile vibes, and I love to see it. This is gonna make builds a lot more unique. Even crafting builds, as you see for strength, is mining. Dexterity is skinning. Intelligence is harvesting, like crops and stuff. Uh, fiber, hemp, stuff like that. Focus is fishing. Uh, constitution is logging. So you can either make a build for strictly gathering, because this is all just going to help you gather. You can still go out and say you're a strength user, and you have none of the focus. You could, you could still go fish, but of course, somebody who has fishing, or focus, focus, focus on focus, they're going to be better at fishing than you. And you're going to be better at mining, if you're full strength. But this is, this is fantastic to see. It's like you can, if you just want to get a certain threshold of strength and then go a little bit into decks to get more crit, uh, but you don't want piercing damage, so you don't have to go too far into this, more backstab. There's just so much more that can go into builds now. That's not including the, all these skills from the armors because there are skills now that will I don't know if it's say augment like change it drastically but enhance some of your skills in your skill trees so if you want to focus on one skill in particular you kind of can more so now like if you just want to be somebody who just swings their weapon wildly I, I you kind of can now you kind of can so this one's more of a raw damage focus and then you got Dexterity, which is more on the crit side of things. So if you want to go more on the crit side, you're going to probably want to go more on the deck side. And again, that's not touching on all of the harvesting bonuses you now get. So you can have a combat build and a gatherer build. So that's nice. You can also interweave your combat and your gatherer. So if you're running around as a strength user, like, I will be a strength and constitution user, user, user. I'll probably mostly be doing logs and mining for the most part. It depends on how expensive it is going to be to respec. If it is not too bad to respec, I mean, it's, but you're probably going to want to focus more on these skills or gathering skills that correlate more with your core build. Like, of course, change out your armor for some more gathering armor and stuff like that. Same thing with dex, intelligence, focus, constitution. Because I'm primarily going to be constitution, strength. Because I was going to go on to the skinning and gathering side, but I might not now. I might focus more on logging and mining with this change. I like this change. I don't know how many people do like this change, but it's super nice. 20% damage on the stunned, slowed, or rooted enemies. That's pretty nice, but the biggest one that I saw that's crazy is the 250. This one's probably going to get nerfed at some point because 80% damage reduction when full HP. So you're the initial hit. Like, if say if you're a tank, sword and shield tanking, right? You have the guard. That the new guard ability that gives you a big damage reduction for a short time and you can block and if you have this active as well the initial hit you do like if you're gonna be tanking a big hit you definitely can with this that's big on top of everything you can eat this will make it so it's a lot easier for your healer to keep you topped off 
Of course, if you're suffering a dot, this is not going to be, because if you're, you have like 500 HP, a dot hits you and you have, say, 490 HP, you're not going to get this bonus because you won't be at full HP. This is pretty much only when you're expecting it to take a huge hit or initiating the fight. Still pretty nice though, it's still pretty big. At least I feel. So it may not get nerfed now that I set to how it was. Traditional Suns, so this one's nice as well. Plus 300. I don't know how far I was going to get into. Balance changes. See, this is also another thing. I don't know... I feel like this is going to be a slight nerf to the, the hatchet got nerfed, it just got nerfed, at low HP your cooldown reduction on hits are now reduced from 20% to 5%. It was pretty powerful because you could get your cooldown back within 5 hits as it says here, that's pretty strong. A lot of their cooldown stuff kind of got reduced by a lot. So the hatchet kind of got nerfed. Sorry all you hatchet users, I was a hatchet user, but kind of only using that because I was tanking and the hatchet in the preview was pretty strong for tanking. Yeah. I didn't really use the musket much, so I'll let you guys go over that. Same as that, same as the bow, and that one. But hatchet got hit pretty hard. All of this is fantastic. I enjoyed all of this little bits, bobs. The new loot, love the perks, the gear perks. I think that's interesting. Again, they have internal cooldowns, so you got to keep that in mind when you're building. So that's super nice. New dungeon, new weapon. It's looking like we're gonna have a whole lot to do when the game drops, and when we get the preview to play. Well, with that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little rundown on the patch notes. If you guys have anything to add, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be answering them for a while. And if you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. If you didn't, you could unlike it. But have a wonderful rest of your night, guys. Stay safe. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video.